you can expect a very good recovery from this form of cancer. Um, the medical treatment nowadays is very advanced and thankfully for breast cancer is one of the most well-researched fields um, with the most advanced treatment, be it uh, surgical or medication and uh, many times many of our patients do very well. Uh, so okay, down to the details for what kind of treatment can I expect for this um, you will have heard of uh, surgery, definitely. You would also have heard of other forms of treatment such as chemotherapy, uh, radiotherapy, as well as hormonal therapy, which are tablets uh, that some ladies take for this disease. Uh, so basically, what are all these? Okay, so we, we start with surgery. Surgery usually forms um, part and parcel of uh, all kinds of uh, treatment for breast cancer. Uh, so at some point in time, uh, you will be needing surgery for your breast cancer. Sometimes uh, the sequence in, in the sequence of treatment, it may be the first treatment that you start with. At other times, it may be the second treatment that you start with. Um, so uh, surgery, there are many forms of surgery. Um, surgery can be limited uh, either to remove the tumour and a clear margin of tissue. Uh, sometimes uh, when it's not uh, suitable, uh, we may have to remove the entire breast. Uh, nowadays, it's possible to do uh, reconstruction on the breast so that after removal of the breast, you can still maintain the shape of the breast. Uh, and this can be done at the same time as the surgery to remove the breast tumour. Um, so, so that is surgery in short. Um, what about things like chemotherapy? Will, will you be needing chemotherapy? Um, it depends on a lot of things. Um, in deciding whether or not lady needs chemotherapy, doctors often look at uh, what the tumour is like. We look at the receptors of the tumour, such as the estrogen receptor, the progesterone receptor, and the HER2 receptor. We also look at how large the tumour is. We also want to know whether the lymph nodes are involved or not. Um, so all these things will be taken into account. Sometimes we do tests that help us uh, give an idea of whether chemotherapy would be beneficial for you. So, so all these factors have, have to be taken into account. Um, as for radiation, um, again, it depends on all the factors that I mentioned for chemotherapy. Uh, on top of that, for radiotherapy, um, the choice of surgery that you decide on also plays a part. Uh, if a lady has uh, decided uh, to remove only the tumour and uh, a rim of uh, normal tissue around it. That's the that kind of surgery is called a lumpectomy. It is also known as a white excision. So this surgery is uh, always accompanied uh, by radiotherapy after that. Um, it may not be so for mastectomy. Um, what's next? Uh, hormonal therapy. Hormonal therapy are uh, oral tablets that we take. Uh, again, this depends whether or not in the very first place uh, you have the, your tumour has the receptors, uh, namely the estrogen and the progesterone receptors. So if these are present on your tumour, then usually at the tail end of your treatment, uh, you will be offered hormonal therapy and this is usually given, to, given for as long as uh, 5 to 10 years. Yeah, so this is what you can expect um, from your treatment. Um, the next uh, common question uh, we will get is uh, what is the sequence of the treatment like? How long is all this going to take? Uh, so often we do start with surgery first. If we start with surgery, um, the recovery time after the surgery can be anywhere uh, between two to four weeks. Uh, shortly after that, if chemotherapy is needed, then uh, that comes next. Uh, and that usually lasts anywhere between three to six months. Uh, if radiotherapy is uh, a part of the treatment that comes after the chemotherapy, and that will be um, three to four weeks, and after the radiotherapy, we will start with the hormonal therapy. Uh, occasionally, we may start with the chemotherapy first. Um, that is very useful uh, to eliminate uh, small cancer cells that may be in other parts of the body um, that are microscopic and can't be seen on scans. Uh, in addition to that, uh, chemotherapy that is done before the surgery has the added benefit of uh, sometimes shrinking the tumour in the breast. 
So what may be an initially large tumour that is uh, difficult to uh, perform breast conservation for, sometimes after chemotherapy, the tumour may shrink markedly and it may be possible to do breast conservation. So, so there are times that we start with chemotherapy first, uh, before the surgery, and then after the surgery, we continue with the rest of the treatment, such as radiation as well as hormonal therapy.